here and cover your back. Hmm. Oh, I don't have to choose anybody. Okay. Uh, I know that it has to be like a, a more soldier or weapon based person. So that leaves Garrus, Grunt, and I guess also Zaid. Um, so there's that. They're the ones that are good at holding down a position. But soldier, partial soldier based class is the ones that have to stay. So, uh, why don't we bring Zip Zop Zoobity Bop over here? Because why not? And. I just hate knowing that, like, it's like all collectors, so I don't want to use people that are good against Geth and stuff, you know? Uh, we'll bring. Oh, we'll bring Jack? Hmm. But Jack's too much like me. She's too much like a vanguard. You know what? We don't. We haven't gotten. Uh, <laughs> I want to bring everybody. I want to bring everybody. All right, I want to bring Legion, so you can snipe, and you can bring his special shot, his special uh, sniperino. But I feel like I want to keep bringing Thane because Warp is just too fucking good, and I hate Miranda. Hi, Legion. I would like you to use the Widow anti-material rifle. Thank you very much. Have a good day. We are ready. As am I. Shepherd Commander. Anything to say before we do this? Fuck yeah, I got something to say. <gasps> We're canceling the apocalypse! The collectors, the reapers, they aren't a threat to us. They're no? a threat okay. to everything, everyone. Those are the lives we're fighting for. That's Today is our Independence Day? No? Okay. It's been a long journey, and no one's coming out without scars. But it all comes down to this <laughs> Fucking moment. love, Grunt. We win or lose it all in the next few minutes. Make me proud. Make yourselves proud. We'll do our best. Good luck, Shepard. Wrong film? No. There's Pacific Rim, and then there's, uh... Then there's Independence Day. Like... Both have inspirational stand-up-on-top-of-stuff movies. Alright. Now I wish I had, a uh, squad warp ammo, but I don't. Can I say, you guys ready? I can all right, we need to switch. Uh, yeah. Wow, you both are sniping. Huh? Great, kill them. Super dead, please. All right. <laughs> GGs, dude. Oh, I, of course, I chose the right one. Get a marker. Bye. Assuming oh, of course that's the one. Oh, that one is gone. Oh, he's gone. Man. Yeah, I, I almost wish I played on a hardcore this playthrough. I feel like I'm just mopping him up now. But I wonder how much of that is just my because I played the game before and stuff, you know. Alright, kill little guys first. This delay is pointless. Get off my planet. Rock assuming control. Oh, they killed they killed the <laughs> they killed the Harbinger uh, possessed one without even me helping them. Alright, now I go to my good gun. You fucking ready? Bitch. I missed! That's embarrassing. Wow, they are really strong. <laughs> Alright, two scions.
trying to save ammo and stuff here, too. And I think Shockwave also knocks them back a little bit. Yeah, it stuns them for a second. Wow, dude. They are... My team is fucking... Oh, my God. I chose... I chose correctly. This is it. All the tubes lead to this spot. You guys ready? Can you tell us? What are they doing? Ready for shit to be super fucking weird? Into some kind of superstructure. It is emitting both organic and non-organic energy signatures. Given these What's readings, that? It must is that a centipede? Shepard. If my calculations are correct, the superstructure is a reaper. Not just any reaper. Human reaper. Hey, look! It's Precisely. fucking weird. It appears the collectors have processed tens of thousands of humans. Significantly more will be required to complete the reaper. What do the collectors gain by turning humans into this reaper shell? <laughs> it's fist. Equivalent of reproduction. <laughs> Or it may serve another purpose. I do not have the data to speculate further. However, it is clear that the collectors are merely pawns. The technology and ability needed to create this reaper is not their own. It is likely that different species construct each reaper. In this case, the collectors provide the labor. The collectors are just Protheans. Why would they help the reapers? The reapers subdued the Protheans long ago. Probabilities suggest they attempted to create a Prothean Reaper and failed. Over time, they adapted the Protheans to suit their needs, changed them, turned them into workers, tools for the Reapers. They're building it to look like a human. Why? It appears that a Reaper's shape is based upon the species used to create it. Reapers are machines. Why do they need humans at all? Incorrect. Reapers are sapient constructs, a hybrid of organic and inorganic material. The exact construction methods are unclear, but it seems probable that the Reapers absorb the essence of a species, utilizing it in their reproduction process. How many more humans do you think they'd try to take? Millions. Perhaps more. Impossible to know for certain. This Reaper appears to be in a very early stage of development. An embryo in human terms. So it's not alive yet? We can still stop it from being... created? The process can be stopped, but it is unclear exactly how much it has developed. I cannot, for example, tell you if it has awareness. This thing is an abomination. Edie, how do we destroy it? The large tubes injecting the fluid are a weak structural link. Destroying them should cause the supports to collapse, and the Reaper to fall. Give us a minute, Edie. We gotta take care of some old friends first. You have an odd definition of. You have an odd definition of friends, there, Shepard. Let's go. Uh, how did that not? That's fine. Do it that way. Bitch. Eliminate the injection tubes. Same. Oh, it's so wait. Uh, it was growling. Did you see that? It's coming right for us. Back in the then. You ready? Oh wow. Okay. That was quick. Shoot the injection. Boosh. Shepard's ground team, status report. Jack here. I'm tagging him as they come. But feel free to call for an exit any time. Head to the Normandy. Joker, prep the engines. 
about to overload this place and blow it sky high. Roger that, Commander. Uh, Commander, I've got an incoming signal from the elusive man. He's patching it through. Shepard, you've done the impossible. I was part of a team. Some of them gave their lives for this mission. I know. Their sacrifice will not be forgotten. You did what you had to do, and you acquired the collector base. I'm looking at the schematics ED uploaded. A timed radiation pulse would kill the remaining collectors, but leave the machinery and technology intact. This is our chance, Shepard. They were building a Reaper. That knowledge, that framework could save us. Yeah, this place is an abomination. You fuck! They liquefied people. Turned them into something horrible. We have to destroy the base. Don't be short-sighted. Our best chance against the Reapers is to turn their own resources against them. Shepard Commander, this facility is data. It has no inherent ethical value. Destroying it will not return those lost. Keeping it may save others. They were working directly with the Collectors. Who knows what information is buried there? This base is a gift. We can't just destroy it. You're completely ruthless. The next thing I know, you'll be wanting to grow your own Reaper. My goal is to save humanity from the Reapers, at any cost. I've never hidden that from you. Imagine how many lives could be saved if we keep this base intact and use its knowledge to thwart the Reapers. Imagine the lives that will be lost if we don't. No matter what kind of technology we might find, it's not worth it. Shepard, you died fighting for what you believed. I brought you back so you could keep fighting. Some would say what we did to you was going too far, but look what you've accomplished. I didn't discard you because I knew your value. Don't be so quick to discard this facility. Think of the potential. No, fuck Fight you. And win without it. I won't let fear compromise. We do not way. need to be Shepherd, crowning around a baby stake, reaper. About everything Cerberus has done for you. You. It's just not a good idea. It's such a bad idea. Every time, like we were on a dead reaper earlier, and I was like, "Well, everyone went fucking crazy and killed each other." Overloads and blows this whole station apart. Like, look. Forget how you hurt. Him. Oh. It's so creepy. Hey, man. Got a shoot in the stomach, apparently. Level Kira reveals them. Adjust your aim. Long range kill. That didn't work out. Are its eyes a weak point too? Okay, they are. Great. Couldn't remember. Emergency shields engaged. Okay, that is some ouch. It's so creepy. All right, you guys ready? Oh. Overclocking connect barrier systems. Ahem. <clears throat> Say hello to my little friend. It did not like that chat. It did not like that one bit. Oh, I think I can walk off for this part, which is, um, how do you say, bad. Overclocking kinetic barrier system. In your creepy fucking eye. My teammates would actually hit it. Then again, I can't even hit it. Reinforcing shield. I see. Sniper rifle neutralization. Of your destiny. If I must tear you apart, shut my will. I think I can shoot any spot. Damn it. Lost. Did I die? 
My screen got the little thingamajigs, but I think I took a hit right before that. Sound is still all weird. Joker. Did the ground team make it? All survivors on board. We're just waiting for you. Human, you've changed nothing. Your species has the attention of those infinitely or greater. That which you know as Reapers are your salvation to destruction. Hit the relay! Hit the relay! Shepard, you're making a habit of costing me more than time and money. Uh, listen, you fuckface. Too many lives were lost at that base. I'm not sorry it's gone. The first of many lives. The technology from that base could have secured human dominance in the galaxy, against the Reapers and beyond. Human dominance, or just Cerberus? Strength for Cerberus is strength for every human. Cerberus is humanity. I should have known you'd choke on the hard decisions. Too idealistic from the start. I'm not looking for your approval. Harbinger's coming and he won't be alone. Humanity needs a leader who's looking out for them. From now on, I'm doing things my way, whether you agree or not. Don't turn your back on me, Shepard. 
I made you. I brought you back from the dead. Joker, lose this channel. Wrecked. And that is Mass Effect 2. I feel like I want to pull up old uh, Mass Effect 3 advertisements on YouTube, but I kind of want to show them to you, because if I remember correctly, that marketing was really freaking good. Hello game, man. I agree. Uh, if you're new here, and you've never watched me beat a game before, uh, whenever I do, I always watch the credits. Um, it's an homage and a nod to those who made it, and I think it's the least I can do uh, whenever I do play a game and I beat it, is to uh, show off the names of those who put so much time and effort into it. So yeah, we'll be here for a little bit. Um, I hope if this is your first time watching Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2, if you have been watching, I, I really hope you've enjoyed it. This is my favorite game series. Not my favorite game. My favorite game is always going to be Final Fantasy Tactics because I'm a, I'm a guy who can't stop living out of the past. But this series as a whole, as a trilogy, is the best game series I've ever played in my entire life. Hands down. Uh, I can only hope that uh, Andromeda is good, and I, I think it will be. Hopefully, whatever the next trilogy is. I don't know. Maybe Andromeda's going to be a standalone. I'll do standalone games from now on. I would still love a new trilogy, but hey, if it's done right, it's done right, right? Will my name be the end of Andromeda? I don't know. Um, what I do know is for the when they did the Battlefield 1 game changers is that they, they, they actually had uh, the Game Changer special thanks or something like that. <gasps> Fuck, did you see that for a second? Billy Buskell was there. What a nice guy. I saw his name. He was the lead. Uh, but yeah, he is a uh, great guy. Um, but they might be. I don't know. That's not really why I'm doing it. But my name, yeah, my, my name might be at the end of uh, Andromeda. Who knows? Be awesome, Daniel. Billy Buskell, by the way, was uh, he's a producer for Mass Effect now for Bioware. Uh, what a fucking great guy. Next game series, GTA, what, like to play through? Oh, phew, goodness. Don't know. I don't think I have a game I want to play like right away. There's no new series after uh, when I finish Master 3, I kind of want to play through. 
There's other a few games I want to play. Like, I want to replay XCOM 2 and stuff like that. But uh, I think for, like, the, there's, I mean, Horizon Zero Dawn's coming out. Nier's coming out. A lot of stuff's coming out. <laughs> Thanks, Irish Dutchman. I'm glad. Yeah, Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, I'm 3.5 is... This is my favorite sub in the Citadel. Tomorrow night. But I don't know if I'll stream that. I always feel like I should, but I just, I don't know. Might do that. But I really want to play Mass Effect 3. So, I don't know. Might reserve all my streaming energy. Dude, a Metal Gear Solid playthrough? Oh my god. I do want to do that. I want to play, like, MGS. I want to do every game. Minus, like, Peace Walker. Um, but I'd like to do MGS 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then probably also Revengeance. Holy crap, that would take a long time to do. Well, I mean, 1, 2, and 3 aren't super long. Uh, well, no, no, they can't be. They can absolutely be super long, depending on how you play them. Dragon Age would be awesome. Um, I don't really, I really don't like Dragon Age 1's combat, like, at all. I think Dragon Age 1 feels only fun to play if you're a mage. Dragon Age 2, I'm not as big fan of the story. And then in Inquisition, like, I think that they nail combat and they nail storytelling, like, really well. Um, why not Peace Walker? Uh, I guess it's not PSP only. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, Cody is still doing his Metal Gear Solid month, and he streams, like, he streams a lot when he plays, uh, he's also a lot more thorough than I am, so I don't know if that'd work. It would take a long time, so I'd probably want to do, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I don't, though, if I would do Revengeance and Peace Walker. Simply. Well, that he also plays on much higher difficulties. I'd probably play on, like, bitch difficulty. I'd probably play on normal, because I am by no means a pro like he is. He is a freaking... He knows everything. Gosh dang. Uh, What's that? There's a whole channel dedicated to Metal Gear Solid, and I forget their name, but they're a really cool channel as well. Snake Eater is best? I don't know, man. MGS5 is really fucking good. For the Fallout series? I've already played Fallout 3 and New Vegas and 4 on stream, so I think we would need to have a lot more time to go past before I played that again on stream. <laughs> Bioshock series? Oh, that'd be a good playthrough, too. Outer Heaven Network is that channel? Gotcha. Fallout 1 and 2? Not, not, I'd rather not. I don't know. for the credits. Do Fallout Vegas, Fallout 3, and Fallout then 4. Yeah, I did that, tech guy. Like, I don't want to do it again. I did, I've did. i done that within a pa like within a calendar year. I have done that. <laughs> so I'd rather not. I did 3 in New Vegas basically before Fallout 4 came out. But I don't think there's really time to kind of consider a... Uh, a new series playthrough of anything because there's just so many games coming out between February and March. I mean, For Honor is like the beta super soon. Borderlands 1 and 2. Borderlands is not a community I wish to be a part of. I did speedrunning for a long time and I just feel I'm just burnt out in the game. And no offense, and I don't mean this in a very rude way, but I, I also want to distance myself from the people who I've, you know, uh, been working with for the past couple of years, you know, uh, Presser Bro Man, King Thalion. I don't want to always play the same games they do. Uh, which does mean, yes, sometimes even if I want to play a game, I won't because I don't want to have, I, I want to be different enough that, uh, our audience isn't as shared. And in order to do that, I got to play different stuff. What is why I love games like this and XCOM, you know, fucking adore it. Am I going to play with the wild? Yes. I plan on it. 
but like I I I like I agree. I think Borderlands is a game that I don't want to play simply on the on the concept of it's a game that's had such like a crazy it's just at least on Twitch. Like on Twitch, I just feel like it's it's a game that I'd I'd like to stop seeing. Not in a bad way or it's malicious, just like man, speed ran that game. Um the, like the, they've done so many events for it. Like the Hunt 2017 is interesting, but like it's just like everyone wants to keep playing Borderlands. And um I think a lot of folks when they see, you know, a looter shooter, all the Destiny folks hop on it, which I want to play more than just looter shooters, man. There's so many games I love to enjoy that I don't always get to play because of uh um I mean, personally, I mean it's a little real here, but like I'm I'm sometimes scared to play new games, guys. Like I don't I don't want to put my channel and my livelihood in danger by playing games that aren't recepted by you guys. Um I always hope and pray that uh my enjoyment and passion for the games that I play bleed over into your enjoyment, but I, I you know that's not always true. Uh so that's why I like stuff. I, 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 you know, I can't always play the games I want to play. There are some times where I can take a risk, but for the most part, that's why on this channel you always see games I want to play. So even though I think Borderlands 1 and 2 are good games and you haven't played them, I think you probably like them. Uh, I just don't want to, you know. I just have no desire anymore. You can play other games off stream. I mean, I can, Spends, but I want to... I like that's not <laughs> that's definitely not a solution to my answer like that's 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 sort of to my, to my question saying you play other games off stream to a streamer is like yeah I, I could but I don't want to sometimes the last thing you want to do after playing eight or ten hours of video games is play more video games sometimes you just want to read a book or go outside you know You have stopped the collectors from creating a human reaper. You now have two choices. Continue the game, complete unfinished missions, develop relationships, play download content, explore the galaxy for anything you missed. Or two, import shepherds, our new game. Current level, new game plus. Uh, okay. Boop. And here we are. <laughs> Thanks, Sigma. I'd like to think that's true. But yeah. Uh, everyone survived. Every single person. What's outside? What is this book you talk about? What is this? Are you insane, T-Rex? And the fish. Commander, you've received a I don't really have any fish. Private terminal. So there you go. Uh, do I have a uh, finished save? I think I do. I think I now have import data. I don't know how it works though. So let's go ahead and pop another save, just randomly. And then we'll main menu and see. Make sure it took. My fish died forever ago. I didn't have. I bought like three fish and then never bought more because I was strapped for cash trying to buy all the upgrades. Okay, so if I choose new game, import ME2 character. Hey, great! There we are. There we are, chat. Took us, uh, took us one week to hit Mass Effect 2. God, man. The pace of one game a week is pretty gosh dang real, huh? Pretty gosh dang real. But there we go. 